now some of those who have been relieved of their duties as ministers now there are speculations about corruption cases against some of them and now that we're saying that they're out of that position of theirs as ministers do we expect to see the anti-corruption agencies or the police just invite them over and ask them some questions because sometimes when in fact most times when these allegations make the rounds they're dropped in this case are we going to hear any sort of like this is it go home and sing no more mm -hmm. well it depends on what they do after now well who does the minister says you know we determine what you know the, the, the normal way here in nigeria is when a minister leaves office and has committed allegedly uh, committed uh, some uh, criminal or corruption uh, acts you will find that if the minister goes home and keeps quiet and no brother or not the sister you find that yes he can go or she he or she can go you know but if other interest is in you know it's a variance maybe like if you defect if you defect yes or for instance now you see the agency you know of uh, efcc or uh, icpc and all these people coming after that person wow that's you unfortunate know. yeah so if it, it comes across that way yeah because what means that if a minister is like you have found guilty one is first of all you get rid of that person and then the court of law will be able to determine whether that is but again you have to step aside and face that, uh, this, not just setting up panels and all that. If it's a, a, a something that needs to be taken to court or the agencies, that let them take them to court. 